All right, what up guys? Welcome to a new video, a new short video. It is the day after Christmas and I am super amped right now. I wanna test out two things with the video. One is this Fujifilm 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. I am new to the mirrorless lens market, but 1.4 right now in the bright sunlight and yeah, it is still looking pretty good. I know my shutter speed is ridiculously high. So far, it's looking not too bad when I review the footage. Today's video gonna be nice, short, and sweet. There has been a update, firmware 2.0 to this X-H1 camera, and I wanna show you guys if they fix the IBIS. I also wanna compare this 16 1.4 to the 16 to 55 2.8 lens that I have, and let you guys be the judge. Let you see which works better for vlogging and just which will looks better in general and that is a tongue twist so let's just get straight into the footage all right guys this is handheld right now walking down to the beach checking out the surf 2.8 on this 1.4 lens and it's handheld you know I'm holding it right now to my eyepiece it looks pretty good you know I'm getting some wobbles some shakes but uh, we'll see how it looks but yeah let's check out how it looks to the ocean. Okay, handheld, slight panning. Are we getting jitters? Is it looking pretty good? It's looking pretty good to me. Look at that smooth, buttery smooth. All right, a, another panning test. Slowly going. Beautiful day here down in San Diego. Yes. All right, and th this is walking uphill, 16 mil 1.4. This is the footage. You know, I'm just holding the camera right out with my hand, no goby, no drillapod. <laughs> I always say that drillapod, no grillapod. And how's it looking? Are we smooth? Did Fuji fix the Fuji shake? Yeah, we're calling it the Fuji Shake. I don't know, it's this small jittering from side to side when the IBIS corrects itself, but to me, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Now, I've got a big dilemma. I don't know which lens I'm liking better, the 16 1.4 or the 16 2.8 like 16 to 55, 2.8, both super amazing lenses. You know, I love having the zoom. The zoom comes in super handy and 2.8 is pretty shallow, but this 1.4, it's amazing. The photos are amazing. The video so far looks super sharp, but I'll let you guys be the judge. So far we're walking. Was it smooth? How is it looking? Is it nice? Ooh, yeah. Look at that buttery smooth, buttery smooth. Yeah, so one of the things to note is, hey, I got a lav mic here. One, because this 16 mil 1.4 uses the old type of motor inside the lens, and what does that do? That makes it a slight bit noisy. How about we go, and before I jump to the 1655, let me show you guys the exact sound this makes while filming. Now, it's not incredibly loud, but it's enough where I think it could ruin some footage if you're vlogging, <laughs> vlogging. It could ruin some footage while you're vlogging or at least make it a little bit annoying. All right, so this is the filming indoors. No lav mic, straight from the camera. Can you hear the motor? Zoom in. Zoom out. You hear that little click, 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 ready? Zoom out. Now, if I'm talking and you have some background music, maybe you won't notice it much, but you tell me, are you hearing it? I definitely hear it. And the lav mic so far was the good test and it really made it disappear. I had a shotgun mic and even with the shotgun mic, I heard it. Now, this is the little tiny internal microphone of the camera, but even with the shotgun mic, it still steps. It still makes noise. Ready? One more test. You hear that? I hear that. It's up to you. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to decide on this one. It's kind of an expensive lens with a lav mic. I think the footage that comes out of this lens is just amazing. Let's switch now to the 16 to 55 2.8, and you guys check out the stability. See if this lens will be right for your scenarios. 16 to 55 test here. Walking IBIS 2.0 firmware on the Fuji XH1. 
How's it looking? It looks super smooth to me. I really think they did a great job comparing this to the 1.4. What do you guys think? What do you think about the footage? Let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison walking down the street. Is it smoother? Is it, I don't know, how do you like the depth of field? I kind of really, really, really dig that 1.4 look. And yeah, this lens so far, both lenses, super sharp, super awesome. I'm loving each and every one of them. Fuji, I love you. Thank you so much for coming into my life. But yeah, no. So we're walking down. How's the footage look? Is it smooth? That is the most important thing. If we move around, does it jitter? Does it jump? I'm at 2.8 here, I'm kind of in the shade, but so far this camera does a great job. Really, really impressed by the picture that comes out. This lens does not have that crazy loud stepping motor, so this one you can film without any mic external, and the footage is super quiet, super great for vlogging. That's hard. It's hard to make a decision with these two lenses. This one's so great, but that other one, that 1.4, is awesome for photos, and it also does good footage if we have this external mic. Here's a little handheld walking. Check it out. Neptune Street, is it smooth? How are you with the shakes? Handheld walking right now. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. How about the panning? We getting jitters? We getting jitters? I don't see any jitters. Looking pretty smooth. Going right there, guys. We're going right there. We're going to the beach. Let's go check it out. All right, handheld walking up here right now. Look at this, surf is up. Now, ready? One advantage of the 16 to 55. Boom, what do you know? Look at that zoom. How handy is that when you're vlogging? It is sometimes super nice to be able to just go, take the scene and go, hey, you know what? Let's focus in right here. Whoa, yes. It is a beautiful day. Check out this panning. Are we shaking? Are we smooth? Are we butter? I'm really liking it. Really, really liking it. Really liking it. Doing a little panning motion, handheld. Sorry if it's a little wobbly, this is real world here. This is real world. Okay, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I looked all over YouTube for these types of videos because when I was switching for Canon, I really wanted to see what would be the best camera for vlogging. I wanted to see what was smooth, what the IBIS looked like, and what the picture looked like. That is it for this quick video update. Just really wanted to show you the firmware 2.0 and see if it fixed anything that you've been questioning on getting such an awesome camera. If you have any questions, let me know, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And feel free, always reach out, ask me any questions. I wanna help you guys. I wanna show you guys some footage, tests, whatever it is that you need. And with that, have a wonderful rest of your day.